We have pathways that we have at the high school that go into different areas. We've just started engineering, been very successful in there. I think we have to improve and continuously improve math and science areas. I believe as a country and even in our school district that we've lagged behind and we're just starting to get to the point to give the to, to push in those two areas. And I believe that's going to be a key for the 20, 21st century, the next 10 years and 15 years. I believe technology is, is something that we need to look at. I believe when we talk about technology and curriculum, we've always treated technology as a, a, a bolt-on type of part of curriculum. I think it has to be completely integrated into curriculum. And I was talking with the superintendent the other day that what we should have is we have a curriculum committee, we have a technology committee. We have people that are on both of them. But we should have almost a joint committee there where the technology, the curriculum is saying this is what we want to do and technology is saying this is how we, how we can do it. I think we have a lot of innovative ideas that are coming along in this budget right now that we're looking at is these end boxes that for a third of a cost of a computer, we can hook up a group of computers in the classroom, increase the number of computers in the classroom if that's the right thing to do there. We have the, uh, we had a grant from the, from, from the federal government, one of the Title V, I believe it was, and we're using it to develop the classrooms of the future. We went down to uh, South School and one of our technology meetings, we sp spoke about the smart boards and how they're used in the classrooms. I, I think we're on the verge that the technology is becoming so acceptable or so reasonable that we're going to be able to include it in our classrooms more and more than we ever did before at a lower rate. I think it should be used in the right performance as a, as a calculator. It should be that accessible to the students as a calculator. And we saw that in there. I think one of the other things we're doing to show the continuum is that we've changed the platform from Mac at the fifth grade level to the PCs to, for a continuum there. So I think we're doing a lot of stuff to reduce the cost of technology to make sure that the children have access to the right technology for the right areas. The question that you asked was related to which languages we should offer for the global economy. No, I think that was a suggestion from a student, so coupled with that, what kind of other things? I mean, feel free to talk about okay. the languages, but what other things do we need to do? Okay. Well, in addressing the language question, I think it's interesting because almost every country offers English, but we tend to only offer French, Spanish, and Latin. Um, and there have been some other school districts have done, that have done these amazing immersion programs where kids go over the summer and they speak nothing but that one language and they come out and they're pretty much fluent. Um, the programs are really excellent and they've done a great job and they've had people go to the United Nations and converse with people from other countries and uh, done quite a bit of things. Um, there are a number of things that I think, um, as I said, the computer-based testing, um, I'd like to see expansion in nutrition and fitness. Um, technology certainly is an area um, that there's been a lot going on. Um, I also think that getting other experiences is also a key thing. I think high school is a really good opportunity to do that because you don't get that many other chances later. I think Mr. Susi with the band does a lot of that, and I think that could be expanded into other areas of the school district. Um, there's a lot. There's quite a bit that can be done, and even just thinking about it now, I can think of at least 20 other things. Um, am I still being timed? Um, Not yet. <laughs> Exposure to new books, expo exposure to new ways of communication. Um, right now, blogging is a big form of marketing. Um, just all sorts of things that students can get into that I could really see them benefiting from and taking those skills that aren't offered in a traditional curriculum and they could take out into the business world, doing website programming, all kinds of things. 
um, the access center I think is a good thing too because they can go in there I understand that during the summer the students can go in there and actually run the station with the people who run it almost as though they're running the TV station and I actually know one Londonderry graduate who did that at the access center and now works for WMUR so I think doing things like that helps them figure out what they want to do <coughs> and go and do it thank you we will now go to two-minute summations. We'll begin with uh, Ron. I'm going to ask you for your vote on March 10th for school board. I'm going to ask you for your vote for the support of the teacher's contract and the allied health contract. I believe those are very important contracts. I'm asking you for your vote because of my experience, my knowledge of the budget, my knowledge of the curriculum, and my knowledge of special education. I've, 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 I've spent my time on the school board trying to be a good school board member as a, as, and trying to bring up innovative ideas to be cost effective, improve the curriculum in the district and the delivery of the curriculum. I believe over the last nine years that I've been on the school board this time has shown how we've improved that curriculum significantly with our scores going up in, in, on all standardized tests. And, um, and I believe that in the next three years, the district's gonna face some significant challenges that are gonna chal challenge us on our area of the budget, gonna challenge us on our areas of curriculum, and we have some difficult decisions to make. I believe my experience will help make those decisions, and I ask for your vote. Thank you. Um, I'm also asking for your vote, but I also wanted to talk about, um, there was a quote in the Londonderry Times where one of the Londonderry parents wrote that, and I'm quoting here, there's a lack of academic achievement discuss. The disproportionate number of sports geared articles is either a sign of bad reporting or an accurate amount of a lack of academic achievement. Um, this person goes on to say how they're being forced to, quote, attend private, have their children quote, attend private schools such as Derry. It seems to me the focus of the community is not on academic achievement. And that's really where my focus wants to be because as I said, my son is starting at Moose Hill. I think that academics is a huge part of the skill set that he's gonna be taking into the global economy. There's gonna be a lot of competition. I think there's a lot of opportunity to take what the school district is doing and expand it and make it an even better program than it is. It's a good program. Mr. Susi has done some wonderful things. A lot of the teachers have done some wonderful things, but it can be better. Um, I'd like to see some expansion. I think we have opportunities to go after some money to get additional programs. Um, and I'd like to see us do that. It shouldn't always be on the taxpayer. There's other options out there. Um, for someone to say something like this where they're looking at other schools, that's a big thing because that's a huge commitment. That's money that they have to spend. That's a part-time job. That's extra money that they have to put up for that. And there were more parents who had quotes. And as you know, the uh, when we had the budget meeting, no one really showed up. There were only 72, 71, 72 people there. I think we need to get the parental involvement up. I think we need to be have excitement about what's going on in the school district and the fact that people aren't showing up isn't really a good thing. Um, and I'd like to come in and I'd like to get more parental involvement. I'd like to start working on some of these things and I have a vested interest in it because my son is gonna be in this type of scenario. So I'm asking for your vote. I'd like to uh, come in and not necessarily change the world but just expand it a little and hopefully I'll be able to do so. Well, I'm Steve Young, and I'm running for school board. And in deference to the town council, there's a big difference between town council and school board. When you're on the town council, people call you up because they're upset about your garb their garbage didn't get picked up, their road didn't get plowed, or there's a junkyard across the street from them. On the school board, when we mess up, we affect children we affect lives of families. There's one area that I enjoy uh, immensely on the school board, and it goes on next door at the end of most meetings in our non-public sessions. And that's working with those 
that have special needs, special education students, identifying, helping those students that may need some help. It's those situations